On my way to IBD. Good morning, my special people. Yeah, I just thought of this that what can I be calling you guys? And I thought of special people because out of all my socials, this is a platform that I would not want to do, even if we are just on 380 guys we, we, we later eat 380 we ate 300 like six what ago i can't even remember it's been a while but now we have 80 more people on top of that like it has been fun so before you go to this 380 i was at like 377 then way back to like 370 i'm like oh, you guys eat me that much but yeah we ate 380 i can't wait to 3000 i can't wait for 3800 3.8 million you know <laughs> But yeah guys, hi, how are you doing? Today is Saturday and guess what guys, your girl is doing something new. <laughs> is it new? I don't know. But I am going to Ibadan, guys. I am going to the city of Ibadan and I'm really excited. I've been there twice. First of all, I passed through it. I passed through it by the when I was going to Quara. And secondly, when I was working at the real estate, we had like properties at Ipadon. So we went there to like see the properties. They went, went for inspection. Committee for our FYB. We are going to Ipadon to pick a cloth. You see me? They pick me to go pick cloth. Well, well, yeah, I'm not that bad at it. So they're going to like pick Ankara and some souvenir and whatnot today for our committee oh not for our committee for our department so that's what we are doing i'm about to go i'm going to but i'm excited what i'm looking forward to is getting a very nice fabric for my department that everybody's going to love hope for a beautiful safe journey inshallah be part of i hope to eat amala guys i'm not even joking i've been waiting to get to this part of the list i want to eat amala and i i just i just don't want to eat amala i want to eat amala in a bad although there's cholera and i'm a little bit afraid because i don't want to come and catch disease <sighs> i'm actually very very scared because of the cholera thingy but i'm just going to i'm just going to pray to god god please i have been craving eating amala in, in ibadan for a long time me and my friends we've talked about this repeatedly that we are just going to leave lagos one day go to ibadan just to eat amala and now i have an opportunity to be in ibadan like how will i be in ibadan and i won't, I won't eat amala like doesn't make sense so i buy corn and eat corn as well so yeah those are the two things that we are gonna be eating today on my way to ibd hello a long time no youtube voiceover but come with me to the city of ibadan look at this road the way it's straight that's the way it is to ibadan it won't be rude when we we're coming back it was another drama but you know at the end of this video i got corn the moment we go to ibadan I'm sure, because i was craving corn all along so when i saw the corn like, i was like i want then we go to the city of ibadan i was so happy like guys but it's so pretty then i wanted to buy this onion you know, look at the food the way it is full and it's just five thousand naira. but i could not buy it because who's going to help me carry it then we went to this beaded shop because the other girl wanted to get bead they have a lot of fine beads here and she got wanted what she wanted and we started our journey to start looking for ankara fabric fabrics for our department so you know you know that's why we are here now so we went to this warehouse they have loads and loads of ankara patterns very pretty patterns different prices and all but we couldn't get what we want because we're looking for a particular color we're looking for blue and we ain't see much Ankara pattern that is so fine in blue. They went to this Asho K store because she got Asho K for she also got Asho K. After we left there, we continued our journey looking for different Ankara. And guys, look at the way I'm vlogging in a It can never be legal. Somebody go down smart snatch my phone. Anyways, I kept going from look at this Ankara is so pretty. I don't know why we didn't get that one. Yeah, I was ranting about I have walked the O market i think this market is called Ogunpa. i can't really remember i knew that i went to three markets i know that i went to three markets this day but i can't remember all their names but i shall know that one of them is called Ogunpa. if this is the Ogunpa market let me know in the comment section if you are from Ibadan. then we continue our journey we ended up with this particular ankara it's not like the prettiest ankara we saw this day but 
is what we ended up buying because at some point we we're just so tired and we just had to like pick it and it's not bad it's actually pretty so after packing everything we went to the second market but before we go we went to withdraw after we drain some money we were on our way to the second market i can't remember the name but if you know the market from the clip let me know because as i was saying ibadon is really really fine ibadon is giving lagos 2.0 i was in away at some point i couldn't even vlog it because everybody is just so fine i'm like i wish i'm not in lagos i was talking about how like Ibado is giving Lagos 2.0 here and my friend was like oh yes but Ibado is like is in a way better is a way better than I- Lagos because like they are one of the things that she said is that they are fresh food in it but I'm like ah, we also eat fresh food in Lagos like ah, it's not that bad then the KK man was like oh you also came from Lagos it was the like the, the issues and puzzle and struggles of Lagos that made him come back to Ibado that as much as Lagos is nice, it can it's not like Kibado. And I I get what they are saying, Sha. Then we went to buy Amala. After then we went to get plastic. We wanted to get plastic actually, but we we were not able to get anyone. Then we went to get souvenir for ourselves and our lecturers. We ended up taking this this particular souvenir for our lecture. It's so pretty. Two glass. Is it glass? I don't know. It's so pretty. We wanted to take this one. It's not giving we had we took the other one then we got this cup to ourselves i asked my amalad the boss and we're back on our way to lagos around seven guys seven o'clock was when we left ibadan anyways i want to say ibadan is so pretty if i grew up in a place like ibadan i don't think i also want to move Hi to guys. lagos so. i think i should yeah. take my camera because i'm not sure it's the cleanest right now hi guys um Today is the next day. I went to the market yesterday. It was a roller coaster. I don't know if I should do this vlog now or I should do it when I get everything complete. But yes, oh, let me do it now. I went to the market yesterday. Everything that happened, right? It was. <laughs> Guys, I go home past it, right? I was so scared, like the road. You know what I was going? You said the road I, I showed you, like the little clip I showed you. That is what the road looks like to the end of the road. That road is like you're in a horror movie. I was just like, God forbid, one thing just come. And I was sitting in the front of the car, the same way I sat when I was going with my friend. I was dead as scared. I was just reading Curse You every now and then. And inshallah, Allah always come true. I got them safe safely like i left ibadan seven after seven after seven left ibado coming to our goal bro is is not a journey i think i want to have that kind of journey is the second time i'm doing it in my life and it's still that same route because i can't remember i told you that um, my estate we went to do inspection when i was working at the real estate the same thing happened that day our manager is supposed to lodge us but that man made us go back to lagos the same day so imagine we left ibado around i can't even remember probably after six and we got to lagos like that one is even i was scared as fuck the manager was not helpful he was even saying oh like is the women that's supposed to be scared because him he doesn't have a private part anybody can and i liked the owner of the company he was mad he complained for days he was like why didn't we call him i think that was even one of the reasons the man was sacked because after that day i didn't see the man again he didn't come to that office again because he was like why would you put my st- staff at risk why would you do something like that the owner of the company the person that was is supposed to spend the money for the hotel and everything said lodge my staff for you, coconut head, you said you will get to Lagos that same day. But if you want to go to Lagos, go by yourself now. Why must you put other people at risk because you want to do what are you going to do in Lagos at midnight? Daddy I also goes to Lagos around after nine. But the journey, like the way our driver drove, even yesterday, the way driver was driving as if as if they were chasing him. That was the same way, and it was Sienna, not even boss. Our own staff bus then was Sienna, so it was even faster. Oh my god, I can't even remember. I don't even want to remember. It was, it's not a nice journey. That's the same journey I had yesterday. I'm like, these two times I went to Ibadan by myself, why do I have to go back to where I, I came from at night? Why? Why? 
anyways that was what happened and i got some books i, I i'm not even offering the courses i just got books i don't know i spent like 7k on getting storybooks three storybooks but i forgot it is with the other girl and I've got, she haven't even tested me my, that my storybook is with i will test out better not drop my book so and guys i got this bread <laughs> Like when we were going, she showed me the company. The company is called Cream. It's a company from Ijebode as it um Akoboy as it you pass where the companies are. I even want to research the company. It's like a cocoa research company. So I, I believe they'll be doing like cocoa powder and all of those stuff. They make this cocoa bread as well. But I will just eat it. Though I gave her out of this bread, but I was just eating this bread like that. Look at but the annoying part is that everything is not cocoa, it's just half of the pasta is cocoa and half is just like normal bread. Why? But this bread is delicious, like this cocoa pad. Hmm. You know, sweet, delicious, but a little more effort and this bread will be tasting like banana bread. I'm telling you, it's really nice. So yeah, that's like about that. I'll show you my storybooks when I get them and I'll see you guys later. Bye guys. Love you.